Exactly. This is a fact that minorities in any situation can feel threatened and insecure because they feel powerless before the might of the majority. But in the present Indian situation, the vulnerability of the religious minorities has worsened because of the policies and programs as well as the cover through overt actions of the present BJP government guided by the Hidduqwa ideology of the RSS and Sangh Parivar for whom Muslims and Christians are a threat to the establishment of the Hindu cultural nationalism. According to the second, according to the Constitution of India, the minorities are categorized in terms of language, religion and culture. In a wider perspective, minorities may, be, may include various groupings, religious as Christians, Muslims, Sikhs, Jains and Buddhists, sociologically as oppressed groups and influential groups within the minorities, economically the poor and the deprived sections of the society, and ecologically even nature, etc. Minorities can also be understood as victims, and also the few who are the subjects of transformation and community builders. When the Christians had voluntarily given up their an offer to have separate political constituencies in the Constituent Assembly of India, the framers of the Indian Constitution, in their wisdom, recognized the vulnerability of minority religious groups, in the midst of a large majority of the Hindus, that they are guaranteed by the Constitution the right to preserve and promote their cultural and religious identity, Articles 29 and 30. It was not a privilege given to them, but a right and a duty to promote the cultural and religious diversity that make India a great nation. That's the introduction of the, the whole, all three numbers. Now the context of our theological reflection. According to the ideology of Hindutva forces, Muslims and Christians are, as minorities are to be suppressed, silenced, co-opted or merged into the majority and identity without allowing them to keep their own identity. For the affiliates of Sankh Pariwa, the minorities are intruders and if they want to live in India, they have to renounce their identity and leave, or leave the country. As long as they are seen as a threat to the Hindu cultural nationalism, it is justified to desecrate their place of 